Hi, I'm Mr. Miller, and this is a lesson on the unit circle. So the equation of any circle that's centered on the origin is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And the reason why is because <clears throat> if you take any point q that's on the circle, then there is this relationship between x, y, and r, which is the Pythagorean relationship. And that's x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So therefore, the equation for the unit circle is x squared plus y squared equals 1. So for example, if you wanted to determine the coordinates for all points on the unit circle to satisfy these conditions, we're going to draw a diagram to illustrate. So if the x coordinate is 1 quarter on the unit circle. <clears throat> so here's what that looks like. If the x coordinate is a quarter, you can either have a positive or a negative y value. So when we substitute into the equation, it looks like this. Squaring the 1 quarter, we get 1 16th. If we subtract that from both sides of the equation, we get y squared equals 15 sixteenths. So y will either be plus or minus the square root of 15 over 4. So that's the y coordinate of this point, both the negative and the positive version. <clears throat> so here's another possibility. If we've got a y coordinate that's negative root 3 over 2 and the point is in quadrant 4, this is what it looks like. <clears throat> so here's that y coordinate of negative root 3 over 2, and it's in quadrant 4, so we're only looking at one solution. Now, if you plug that into the equation, and solve for x, you would be squaring the negative root 3 over 2, so that's 3 quarters. If we subtract the 3 quarters from both sides, we get x squared equals a quarter. <clears throat> and normally we'd take plus or minus the square root, but since we're in quadrant 4, we're only going to take the positive square root, so that's positive 1 half. So it's a half and negative root 3 over 2. Those are the coordinates of that point. So here's another question. What is the length of an arc on the unit circle whose central angle is pi over 4? So here's what that looks like. And arc length is r theta. So if we do 1 times pi over 4, it's pi over 4. So the arc length is equal to the angle in radians. So here's the last example. <clears throat> we say that p of theta equals x and y. This is a function which relates the central angle theta to a point x, y on the terminal arm of that angle theta, which is also on the unit circle. And we want to do that for all the special angles. So for instance, p of 0 is 1, 0. That one's pretty straightforward. p of pi over 6 is equal to root 3 over 2 and 1 half. So for those of you who need a little more explanation, I'm just going to draw a quick sketch in here and then erase it because uh, otherwise you won't be able to see all the other work very clearly. We'll get too crowded in this space. Um, but pi over 6 is equivalent to a 30 degree angle. And so what we're talking about here is a 1, 2, root 3 triangle. <clears throat> but of course, we don't want the r to be 2. We want it to be 1. So if you divide this by 2, you have to divide all the other parts by 2. And so now you can see why the y coordinate is a half and the x coordinate is root 3 over 2. So I'm just going to clear that out because it makes it a little too, well, I'll maybe just leave that in there. Uh, but I'm not going to be able to draw that triangle for every situation. If you would like to do that, you could certainly do that on a kind of separate piece of paper. So P of pi over 4, and again, if you draw a 45, 45, 90 triangle, similar to the 30, 60, 90 triangle that I just did. Oh, and by the way, this is the 60 degree angle, and this is the 90 degree angle. Um, <clears throat> then, uh, and you take the R and you divide by whatever you need to so that you get R equals 1 you would find the x and y coordinates are root 2 over 2 and root 2 over 2. 
And for a 60 degree angle, pi over 3, I'm going to find that the x and y coordinates are switched compared to what we had right here. And just noticed a bit of a stray mark there, so I'm going to just erase that. Groovy. Now, for 90 degrees, pi over 2, the x and y coordinates are pretty straightforward, 0, 1. And you should go ahead and work out all of the x and y coordinates for all of the other points going around um, that are on the terminal arms of each special angle. And here's the rest of what you would find. We're back to the beginning. So <clears throat> just to um, explain maybe the last one, for instance, um, P of 11 pi over 6. So this is a uh, 330 degree angle, which is the same as negative 30 degrees. And what you'll notice here is that um, if you have negative 30 degrees, then you'd have a negative 1 half here, uh, still a positive root 3 or 2, and 1 for r. <clears throat> so the x-coordinate is root 3 over 2, and the y-coordinate is negative 1 half. So take a minute to make sure that you can understand why each one is what it is. Hopefully that makes sense to you. That concludes this lesson on the unit circle. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.